Welcome to today's video where I would like to share with you how I am personally annotating and providing feedback as a project manager. And it's all through this tool called Markup Hero. Now I'm gonna walk you through exactly what this tool is and then I'm gonna be showing you a demo of me actually using it so you can see exactly how easy it is to create annotations and feedback that you can then send to whether that's team members, maybe it's other project managers in your team, or even if you wanted to send it uh, you know, things to, to senior management or to, you know, include in kind of status reporting or your client, those kind of things. There's lots of different use cases for it. Um, and I just want to kind of walk you through exactly why I signed up to begin with. Uh, it's basically, this is a tool that you can access online uh, via your Chrome browser, which is what I'm going to be showing you. But you can also download uh, this tool uh, for Mac and Windows as well. So it's really, really cool if you wanted to kind of have it on your local computer. Um, I love the fact that there's kind of it's it's free really for uh, I'll show you what what you get for free but you can mostly use this for free and you can upgrade um, to basically get more more use of the tool but you don't actually necessarily need to so this is what I'm going to recommend is that you sign up uh, play around with it and see what you, you think and again of course no credit card required on sign up which is also very very cool so I am going to be um, work, walking you through in a moment and I'll be signing into my account, but I just wanted to show you briefly what this tool does. Um, it's It really is a, a, an annotation tool first and foremost, um, where you can kind of capture whether it's a, a website or it's, uh, you know, you can upload an image uh, from your local drive, uh, it, but you can provide feedback and I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. Um, it's very, very quick uh, in terms of, you know, signing up and also just in terms of the entire process. And the whole collaboration piece is fantastic as well. And that's what makes this stand out from the rest. Um, you know, it, you can get other people to kind of contribute and, and that's what's kind of important as a project manager. Here's all the features. Look, you can, I'm going to drop a link in the description below. Do bear in mind that is an affiliate link if you were to sign up to a paid plan, but you will be getting access to the free plan at no cost to you if you, if you decide to do so. But I just wanted to mention that, but you can check all this out with the link in the description below. There's loads of different integrations as well, just making it kind of an all round tool, but I don't want to go on any further. Um, I will actually just quickly mention about the pricing because as I say, it is, it is incredibly cost effective as well. Uh, so the sidekick is what you'll get for free. Um, Hero is basically also, well, it's also free, but it gives you kind of 10 markups per month. So it's really good to test the tool and see if it's for you. And then it's the superhero is the paid plan. Um, so that's if you wanted unlimited usage, which pr chances are you probably will. And I'm gonna show you why that's the case now. So I'm just gonna log into my account um, and I'm gonna show you a couple of use cases. So I've already, well, I've been using this for quite some time. I did delete a lot of my previous work just to protect some of my companies and organizations data. Um, but this is how it essentially works. So I've logged into my account and you'll see I'm in the kind of markups section. So here we get, um, we get some kind of information about what we can do from here. So it's recommending that we either upload an image, uh, a PDF, paste a link to a website, or start with a blank canvas. So there's four different options here, which first and foremost, I really, really like. What I'm gonna show you um, is a couple of different uh, use cases. So I'm gonna upload um, from my local drive. So I did, prior to this video, uh, I did create a few different examples. So we've got an Excel sheet, uh, a flow chart that I've created in Excel as well, and I've also got a PowerPoint presentation. So what I'm actually gonna do first and foremost is open those up. So you can't upload an Excel, um, you know, straight away. But what you can do is you can do a screenshot. So I'm going to do a screenshot of this project plan. So let's just say someone sent over this project plan to me uh, and I want to provide some annotations. I don't quite like how it's, you know, maybe the formatting or I don't like where certain things are placed as an example. So what you can do is open an Excel sheet. I'll just call it screenshot here for now. And then obviously you do this ahead of time. Then you'd upload it into uh, your uh, into Markup Hero. So let me just find that. Click open and it will load very, very quickly, you'll notice, considering that, you know, you're putting a whole file into the system. And what's going to happen is it's going to open it up straight away. Okay. And I'm scrolling down there just to kind of see it, but you can also kind of scroll out as well if you wanted the whole thing. Now from here, we have so many different tools available to us. In the Markup tools, we can add text. So I could put text in, you know, anywhere I wanted. So I could put something like, you know, well, any comment I wanted or a note. I can change the color of that background if I wanted to. Uh, you can change the font size. You, I can delete it, I can move it. Um, so you've got all those kind of things here. You can put arrows. So let's just say, you know, um, 
this bit here, you could put this and then you could put a comment as an example. Uh, you know, uh, I don't, I want this move to column D or whatever. You know, you get the idea. Call out arrow again. So this basically is, is, is it gives you that box as part of it. Probably better use case than what I just mentioned. Um, we've got a line, you know, and pen. You've got a pen so you could, oh, sorry, I did that kind of wrong. Uh, I'm going to press uh, control Z, uh, control Z, sorry, to, to get rid of that. So you could underline things. Highlighter, you can highlight things, you know, you could do, you know, little things like that. You can do rectangles. So yeah, it's just a really, really cool um, tool. There's so many different things you can do. And this one, blur, is amazing. This, I really like this. You know, you can blur things out as well. Um, so that's very, very cool. And, you know, if you, you know, insert images, you can add signatures. So that's just how you can kind of um, work with Excel files. That's what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm, I'm, I'm helping a couple of project managers uh, with their project plans. And I'm using this annotation just to kind of say, maybe, you know, you might want to move this, uh, you might want to do this, you might want to do that, those kind of things. You can also do things like uh, rotate and crop. Uh, you could, you know, get rid of things. So it's, it's you know, this is a really all round tool. When you're finished, you can kind of collaborate with other users it's by sending a link and they can come in here and see what you've done. You can also make sure it's private so nobody sees it. Uh, you could download this uh, and export it. So once you're finished and then you can send this over email or perhaps even upload it to another project management uh, system that you're using. Um, you can also duplicate it. So you could have, you know, maybe uh, 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 this is the orig original um file and this is these are the changes that I've made so you can kind of have that audit trail so that's really really cool so if I go back to markups I just want to show you uh, you know how this would work with say a presentation so I've prepared a presentation ahead of time uh, this is actually one of the presentations on my YouTube channel so what, again what you do is you do something like a snipping tool and you just basically snip the slide so you just do something like this you'd create a screenshot or you could use on your keyboard if you don't have the snipping tool, which is a, a free tool, by the way. You could, you know, you you know, you use the screenshot button on your keyboard, or you could, um, you know, use that uh, shortcut that enables you to take a screenshot of your page. So you would do that. You'd obviously save that file, and then you'd upload it back into Markup. I'm not going to do that because we've literally just done that through through you know a different. Um, well, we've, we've done that already, essentially. The other one I really like is the blank canvas. So essentially, this just gives you a, a whole area um, to, to work with. It's blank by default. So, you know, this is almost like, imagine this like a, a whiteboard. So you can you, know, you can start adding um, things here that, that can be really, really useful. We can send notes, um, you can add text, you know, add images. So you could add in, an image and then do things around it. So actually, as an example, what I've just, uh, let's just do this flowchart that I've uh, already kind of, um, uh, created so I've added this and then what we could do is we could do some cool arrows so something like um, oh I've put that on it by mistake let's go back control Z easily takes out what you've just done control Z oh sorry uh, I've messed up there I want to insert an image and then I want to put this in sorry and then what I would do so I could remove that by the way uh, the outer color if I wanted to uh, actually, it makes sense to have a color around it. So that's quite cool. We'll put that kind of nice black. And then what we can do here is do a cooler arrow. Oh, I did that by mistake. Control Z, a cooler arrow, and then left. Oh, sorry. There we go. And then we could move this down. Oh, I'm having a bit of a shocker here. Uh, need to update. And then what we could do is obviously make this smaller. That's very large. We could change this. So you get the idea. There's lots of different things you can do here. Um, and it's just, it just makes it really, really useful. So it's very, I, I, you know, there you go. That's much smaller. It's just really, really, it is really, really quick and easy. I know I made a few mistakes there, um, but trust me, you know, you can zoom in and out. It is just so effective for getting feedback uh, from, from different um, individuals and, and, and colleagues. Um, I like how you can add pages as well. So, you know, you could have a whole document of annotations. Trust me, this is one of the quickest way you can do things. You can use Word, images. Um, I also wanted to quickly show you actually um, the, the, the website. So this is my website, Proper Project Management. And what I want to show you here is how you would do it uh, You know, from a website. You'd simply just paste the link in here. You'd press uh, this. And it's gonna ask us to in, in, install a free Chrome extension to better capture full websites with our scrolling screenshot feature, which is amazing. You could then do that. I'm not going to just for the purpose of this demo. Um, but you could do that, of course. Um, but let's just give this a go. 
And while that loads, I know I'm jumping around a bit, but I just wanted this, you know, this is such a good tool. I really uh, am impressed with the founders of this tool, of what they've what they've done. If you look here, um, they, they, after I signed up, um, they sent me this straight away and it just gives you, you know, all these different um, tips, if you like, to, to get the most out of the tool. Uh, there's there's also links to you know learn more about it and and how this tool really really works. There's little things like that that just make it stand uh, above all the other kind of tools. So back to markups and this is the one I just imported. Again, we could do all of the markups uh, from this website. So it's taken a screenshot of my website and you could then obviously do what you need to from there. You could download it, etc. So this is really really good if you're working with a project management system, whether that's Asana. Um, or another tool like that, Smartsheet, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really, really good for that. So overall, as a project manager, this is invaluable. Uh, and I would strongly recommend you sign up to Markup Hero and give it a try. At the very least, you know, it's gonna be free. Um, and it's, you, you know, you can keep a, a free account forever. You're not gonna have any charges. And you can do five or so of these and see if it's for you. Um, maybe upgrade to that, that Hero account, also free, and you'll get about 10. Uh, to play around with and then if you want to use this in your day-to-day -day, like i am then just sign up to that kind of main package um it's, it's very very cost effective too um i believe the pricing is you know it's four dollars a month i mean obviously if you pay annually um but if you pay um monthly it's only five dollars a month it's it's incredibly good value um you'll, you'll struggle to find a, a tool at value like this um but ultimately yeah this is markup hero i'll drop a link in the description if you want to check it out i strongly recommend that you do um, I hope this video is useful and I hope that this tool uh, makes your day-to-day -day role as a project manager easier. Uh, please drop a, drop a comment if you want to, you know, have any questions about this tool or just kind of annotating and feedback in general as a project manager. And, and do consider uh, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.